have an ask. <laughs> I was wondering if um, Helena and John would be so generous as to take a few questions for a few minutes. We actually have time. Is that all right? Thank you for your wonderful uh, presentations. Um, you, you spoke about presenting theosophy to, to newcomers. Um, typically, I, I start with three prepositions, the deity, um, reincarnation, and cycle, cycles. And ironically, nobody ever asks me to prove deity, so I bypass that, but almost invariably, everybody asks me, well, prove reincarnation. Does anybody in this room know of a good example how to prove reincarnation? Well, in the first place, we never talk about newcomers. Because those people who for the first time in this life attend a theosophical meeting or a lodge, without any doubt, in the past attended it also. And they may be much and much wiser than we are. So that's an all, and it's another approach of people. We don't need to prove it, uh, reincarnation because it proves itself. If you look at the cyclic laws, you can find everywhere, everywhere. There is in, uh, in uh, one of the readings of, uh, of Plato a perfect, uh, 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 well, you may say, uh, uh, um, teaching about uh, how to prove reincarnation because he, he speaks about the opposite. Uh, things of everything, yeah, that small doesn't exist without uh, great, and high doesn't exist without law, and warm doesn't exist. And from one state to another, there's always, you know, a passing form, just like death, and just like uh, being born again. Well, it's, it's so logic that if you just consider the fact that there are a cyclic law in everything in nature, in everything in the cosmos, reincarnation is just another example of it. Want to say something about it? No, I, um, just in practical terms, uh, when I was uh, out to get my coffee this morning, there was a mother uh, with an infant uh, she was holding, facing outwards. And this baby couldn't have been more than uh, a few months old. He, he was just so alert and awake. And when I looked at uh, him, I, I said to the mother, wow, this, this being is so awake already, like a little Yoda. And she laughed and the women started talking and they, you know, and like, wow, these babies are coming out incredible uh, these days more and more. And so, somebody behind the counter said, the server, uh, pretty soon they'll just come out walking and talking, you know, I mean, they're just, I mean, if you can't see the proof of reincarnation, all these skills come from somewhere, you know, and, uh, but I think to be kind, um, you know, these ideas, HBB and all the great teachers tell us, uh, of all the ideas, reincarnation and karma, we actually, our being resonates to them. Just like when I give a talk about the brain, everybody's got a brain, they resonate to that. But there's a higher resonance when we talk about the ideas of reincarnation and karma. And, and, and so we're re-familiarizing ourselves with those ideas. And if we've belonged to some kind of a belief system where they've been temporarily uh, pu pulled back a little bit, uh, I try to be gentle, you know, and offer proofs. Uh, scientific proofs, but uh, always you, you want to be careful of drawing someone in uh, gently, I think, and not uh, harshly to uh, get re reacquainted with these ideas. But it'll happen. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. I saw a story the other day where a man fell down and hit his head. And when he woke up, he discovered he could play the piano. May, may, may I add something? That's something very strange because we think that proof of evidence is something which is outside of us. But uh, if you don't study uh, mathematics, you may read in, uh, in, in your mathematics book that that law or law is proved but it isn't proof for me. 
So I have to think about it, I have to study it, and the moment I understand it, and that moment is when my buddhic light is uh, shining, then it is proof for me. But if you didn't study it, it isn't proof for you. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just wanted to interject. Absolutely, uh, there's plenty of proof of reincarnation in nature. We don't have to prove it. But there are many, many cases where scientists have shown that, there, uh, that people have reincarnated. For example, Dr. Stevenson, University of Virginia. Uh, the case that uh, we talk about a lot is James III, who was a pilot in World War II, went down in the Pacific. He was reborn uh, in uh, Louisiana, uh, and he kept telling his parents that we went down, I went down, you know, we, we had trouble with our aircraft, mm -hmm. the Corvair aircraft, and they checked it out, and he talked about his uh, parrots and grandparents and so forth. Now, when James III was about seven years old, all this went away, but he told them so much uh, that they were able to, to uh, verify that, and on the Internet, we had, there, there's a video about that. So there's quite a few cases, uh, if you want to point to, quote, uh, scientific evidence uh, like that. Uh, th those cases are very interesting, but still, you know, HPB says in one of her articles that you should, um, theosophy shouldn't rely on things outside theosophy. The, the inherent value of theosophy is the best evidence for its truth. And of course, those things help you to find the truth, but I cannot believe it, or I say, well, this, that, that man who did the study, he uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't an honest man. Or, just, all those things outside me. But the moment I perceive the cyclic law in myself, and it's very easy because every night I go to sleep and every morning I wake up, which is the same as reincarnation. I have a truth nobody can steal from me. It's my truth because I perceived it. Yeah? Diana, did you, did you have one comment? I think we'll take Diana's comment and uh, then we'll take a break. Uh, I, I used to run circles in, in a Unitarian church near me on reincarnation. I invited all my theosophical friends to help. Uh, but it got down to logic and probability. Um, I tried to prove the connections that we have uh, that have led others to believe in reincarnation. But it's the probability of it. Uh, and I think Blavatsky has some nice quotes on that. Thank you. Is that okay that we'll, we'll take a, a break? Thanks for